All right, guys, it's River Dave. We're down here at the Riviera Marina at uh, Gasoline Alley, I guess you'd want to call it. And this is a Lux Customs Craft. This is the first one. It is called a 33 Chase Tune. It's designed to be a pontoon with a center, con uh, center console platform on top and uh, primarily used as a support vehicle for the wives, children, partiers uh, that have large cats or even the large center consoles. In terms of pontoons, in terms of styling, we're going to show you some things that you have not seen before. I think they absolutely hit it out of the park. My wife, uh, she saw it going down the road this morning. We were going to film it this afternoon. She goes, hey, go down there. I want to see that right now. So, I mean, it's, it's a showstopper from the road. If you come in here, the very first thing you're going to see is it's got a real center console-esque front door that opens. Come on in, Michael. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, you got the power button right here for your wash. Come on back. It's got a nice, nice open bow. Chase lounge style seating, just like center console. So nice for cruising, relaxing out in the sun. Very, very cool. Every one of these seats is gonna have absolute cavernous storage. One of the things I do like, this is the first one out and they actually did finish off everything inside here. You can see that they got the fiberglass bottoms and all that. So each one of these lifts up, so makes nice. These ones lift up, shock assist. You can see they got drains in there. This can be used as a cooler and or dry storage. But if you got wet life jackets or something from the kids jumping off on and off the boat, which I'm going to show you in just a minute here, throw those in there and they'll dry out. No big deal. Nice armrest right here for when you're cruising down the river. Mm -hmm. Now as we uh, come on in here, you're going to see large Hertz stereo everywhere. This boat comes factory. Factory as in included in the price with four tens and eight eights. And you only go up from there. This thing is designed to be a party machine. You got your T-top right here. You're going to see you got speakers integrated, lights integrated. One of the coolest things ever, entire moonroof. It's a tented moonroof up there. So when you come in here and you're at the helm, it's got a really, really nice feeling of being in more of a performance oriented boat. It's still airy. This one doesn't have the windshield on it. That is an option, but it's still airy, but it's nice because you got this beautiful thing above you here. I, I just can't say enough about it. Come up over here, you got their little flip up deal here, and you can see these notches. It's actually designed for uh, sunglasses. Uh, Kurt's got a partnership going on with Heatwave, which is what the little Heatwave symbols are all about. Come down here, this is an automated phone charger. So you take your phone, hook it up in stereo, throw it in there, and it's charging the phone while you drive. Simrad instrumentation in this one. You can also go with a Garmin or this will view whichever one you want, right? Something very cool. Like on my pontoon, I used to have to walk out all the way to the back and turn on all the batteries. These have the automated battery switches, just like uh, the higher end cats are using. Push the buttons and you're ready to go. So I mentioned earlier, kids jumping off and on the boat in life jackets and whatnot. So we're gonna come over to what is one of the coolest features of this boat, right? You have a little safety switch over there. It is already turned on. You hear the pumps running. Right now it's disengaging two pins. This platform comes out, and I don't remember what it holds, six, 700 pounds or something like that, but you're not gonna break it. It's pretty tough. But this opens up on both sides of the boat. I believe you can do it with one side or both sides or either side, depending on your applications. But how cool is that? walk out you got a huge platform it opens up the whole boat so if you're day boat and relaxing you can even take a fold out chair hanging out here but if, for my instance i imagine my kids just like a little ant trail just running and jumping off this thing and going right around and around and around i would probably look into putting a uh, a swim ladder either right there or right there which uh Kurt assures me they can figure out and do but this is something you're not going to see you'll see this on a real high-end uh yeah, you see them on yachts, you see them on those, uh, they're not contenders, what are those things? Scouts. Yes, you see them on scouts. You know, scout has a lot of these, a lot of Italian design boats, one fold like that. But you want to know where you don't see them? You don't see them on American made pontoon boats. This is the first one, this one has double doors. All right, is this a single door or double door? Okay, so this one is a single door, but it, they are capable of doing double doors. All right, here's the switches for that. I think it's absolutely amazing. The T-top, these are solid billet. They have grab handles on them, just like a big center console. So you're driving, you just stand here or stand next to the driver. Uh, they can do a grab rail. Oh shit! They can do a grab rail 
under here. So if you want to stand and run with the boat like that, pretty cool. Back here, integrated storage, cell phones, wallets, small things of that nature. Put it all in here. When you stop, you do this. Now, before we get too far ahead, they did think a little bit of everything. They got cup holders virtually everywhere. It's the first thing my wife said. And she goes, well, what about my phone? Kurt says, oh, not a problem. There's USB chargers in every single one of these things right here. So you come in, plug your phone in, throw it in a cup holder, take your drink with you. Typical center console style under here. You got a pull out tray. This is where you put one or two soft sided coolers. Throw them back in there, or you can do your day stuff if you'd like. I imagine that's where I'd use my coolers. We're going to run up front here to the actual center console itself. Probably going to want to jump in there, Michael, so I can get by you. Then you come over here. You're going to open that up. You're going to see there is a ton of room. Something you're also going to notice, if you take a look at the wiring, this does not look like a normal pontoon boat. Kurt is bred out of the performance boat world, and this boat is rigged infinitely nicer than any production pontoon boat out there. That I will absolutely guarantee without even having to go through the boat. Having owned a couple of those normal pontoon boats, I can tell you it's atrocious. We're going to walk back to the back here. Mike, go that way. So back here, again, Giant storage everywhere. You can see they finished it out under here. It is a little bit dirty. We had some wet stuff under here earlier. But uh, giant storage under each one, very accessible. Here's your automatic battery switches. These two are going to be rigging. So that's going to be your fuel on and off. Power steering right here. And then again, same storage on this side. Cup holders down below, cup holders up top. You're not lacking for cup holders in this thing. It is a party machine. So we come out here, which if my crippled ass can do that, anybody can do it. Large platform back here. My favorite part of the boat right here is that. If you look at it, it actually looks like the walk off of a high performance cat. It does not look like the usual pontoon thing. It's very, very nicely finished off. It's got that staircase look. Actually goes probably and a half under the water there's a big badass push button ladder different than the old ladders on that i've seen before you push the button and it ejects out uh, down on the center tune there very very nice something that's also cool these little deals right here those are called water diverters and so typically when you're running a pontoon they're throwing a spray out the back and it just gets water all over everything these add a little bit of transom lift and they keep the spray down to the lower half of the motors this makes wipe down a breeze so i thought that was also kind of cool Storage back here again. Excuse me, this is where your batteries are at. Then this one is a flip over right here. You can see it's right there, uh, finished off. This is where your charge port is. You just plug the boat right into the wall, charges all the batteries, good to go. I believe this is the same on this side, but I'm not gonna put Michael in the water to find out. Yep, more batteries. And this should be exactly the same, more storage. So that is the initial walkthrough of the 33 Chase Tune and uh, by Lux Custom Crafts. So as you're gonna see the side layout of the boat, it's really, really beautiful. And it comes back and I love this little detail in the back that starts exposing more of the tune where it says Chase Tune's at. And you see where the platform ends and they have what's called a wet area. And then that, after that is uh, where the motors are. It's just got a really long and sleek view to it. Uh, absolutely gorgeous boat, T-top flows perfectly, and uh, we'll go take it for a quick rip.